The operator of the Mandora Ferry Service is pulling out after missing out on the tender. Seacat Ferry says it will no longer operate the service after New Year's Eve when the contract expires. But the Territory Government says there is a contingency plan and Mandora residents won't be left stranded. After 13 years of operation, Seacat Ferries will make its last trip from Cullen Bay to Mandora on New Year's Eve. The owners received a letter from the planning department on Friday saying its application for tender was declined. We have to look at two basic things. One is quality of service to the ferry travelling public and secondly is value for money for taxpayers. We would fail tenderers on the basis of them not meeting one or both of those criteria. The tender process for the Mandora Ferry Service has been controversial from the start. The planning department chose a Sydney company, Fast Ferries, to take over the service before reversing its decision and siding with the current operator, Seacat. Now both have been knocked back. This tender process has been an unmitigated stuff up. Uh, from day one. In an open letter to Mandora residents, the operator of Seacat, Gus Widnall, said he was seeking an eight-year contract, while the government only wanted a two-year extension of the current contract with less subsidies. An offer he said would have put the service in financial jeopardy. The planning department says it has a contingency plan and it's involved in advanced stages of commercial negotiations. I can reassure the uh, residents of Cox Peninsula, the travelling public, that there will be a ferry service on the, the 1st of uh, January 2012. An announcement is expected by the end of the week. Until then, Mandora residents will be hoping they haven't been left high and dry. Lisa Mosley, ABC News.